Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, myself Rakesh. And in today's video, we are going to learn how do you create a Google Calendar event, right? So basically, we are going to work on UiPath Google Calendar Automation. All right, so let's get started. Let's go to uh, Java Studio. So the objective is, this is my test calendar. And here on the test calendar, I should be able to create an event. Now, uh, what is the step? The very first step is, right, you should have the G Suite application, right, G, G Suite application, and how to set this up, and how do you, um, you know, set this up in console.google.com. Everything I have taught in this video, which is again a lengthier topic, which I have already covered in this API UI path Gmail setup. And then you should uh, look at the send email, right? This activity, this API setup and API Gmail send email activity. So these are the two areas where I have completely covered. How do you set it up? Okay. Now let's focus on, uh, you must watch that. Then you should do this event. Okay. Now let's move further. How do I create a Google calendar? So first G Suite application scope has been set up. I have entered the uh, client ID, client secret code, right? Uh, I have kept it as custom. Everything is set. Now from here, the next steps comes. So this G, uh, G Suite application scope, this is common for any API automation we, we, you would like to do on Gmail or Google Workspace products like Gmail, Google Drive, Google Sheet, Google Calendar. This remains common. So from here, this is, step would be different. So what is the step here? You have to go to activity and look for the Google under integration, Google workspace calendar and there you find something called create event create event means create a calendar event or calendar set up a calendar meeting so if you drag and drop this activity will not function why it won't function because first thing you need to check go to console.cloud.google.com okay so before you work on any calendar related activity there are few checks you have to do so first i should go to console.cloud.google.com so this is the new project which we have created last time in the last video i have shown how to create a project so once the project is created let's get inside this project okay so let me um, click on this three uh, the breadcrumb symbol go to api and i will go to enabled apis where am i going click on this and then go to api services and click on enabled api services so once you go here first thing i need to see did i enable google calendar api before i could start the automation that is the first check we should do so let's go here and look do i see anything related to google calendar google cloud google cloud google service okay gmail api is there but there is no google calendar yet i have activated so how do i activate very simple go to library Okay, one by one, uh, you should be clear, okay, wh where things could go wrong. You should go know the step by step, the process. So here, I will go here and there is something called Google Workspace. Because I have to work on calendar, I would select this Google Calendar API and I'm going to enable it. Okay, this is the step. So let's wait for it to enable itself. So soon after you enable, you may have to give little time for it to really work. So if, if it is not working immediately, just wait for some time, give it some 10, 15 or 20 minutes time and then try it again. Okay. So this is enabled. You can also uh, go to enabled API services and see if it is enabled here or not. It is already enabled. So I'm showing you. So if I go here, you can see Gmail API is enabled and uh, Google calendar API is also enabled. Okay. So once it is enabled, that's where we should start. Okay, so what, which is the activity I have got it here? I got the create event activity from my activity panel. So now here, let's give it a name called test. And then attendees, you can put some email addresses. So I'm leaving it blank. You can also leave it, I mean, you should put it. You can invite some other person. So here, I wanted to create an event on the calendar, which I own. And I can send the invite to few more people right i can invite other people so what i can do let me first try to create an event in, in you know inviting others is quite simple you have to just provide the attendee email address i'm going to show that slowly but let's click on the properties 
okay so what are the important things you should give a title which i have given test a description i can give these are all uh, optional test event okay location i am leaving it as it is and here the end time so how do you enter the end time you will be slightly confused what do you do let's say i want to set it from um let's say i want to set it from 230 okay just 230 i'm writing and uh, with this uh, uh, symbol and then i'm going to click on okay 230 the moment i write this what is happening the date if you see look at it the date and everything has automatically picked up so if you like to make the if you don't know what format i should write, write simply type the time it will show you the date and here you can make the modification let's say i want to set it for tomorrow so i will say 28th let's see okay july 28th done same thing for the start time start time and end time so this is 230 right i'll start from so start time and end time so i will say 2 o'clock o'clock if you click on okay again the date is coming so what you do go here and change the date to 28 simple click on okay so now 2 to 230 it should create an event right that's the understanding you can select the time zone as, as well here the time zone options are there right which country let's say let me going to select india 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 where is indian 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 what is india yeah uh, uh so ours is kolkata right kolkata specific time so let me see where you have that let me type k indian mahe i j k l m n E F G H I so why don't I find uh, the Indian timing? Am I missing anywhere? How about India, man? Is it there? Why I'm not able to find it here? Indian, 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 Indian. Okay. So otherwise, uh, anyways, my setup is in. I, I will find that out. But uh, let's. You also have more options. We will go through that later on. But right now, let's create a simple event. Let's see if it is working or not. Okay. So let me run this. If there are any errors, we will try to rectify that. Let's learn it this way. Then all those properties, how do you, what you do with those properties, we will try to explore. So, okay, so the automation on my taskbar has started and looks like it has completed the task. Okay, execution completed. So let me refresh the calendar. Okay, let's go here. Let's go back. Or let me try to refresh the calendar. So uh, 28th from 2 a.m. it has created. So my intention was exactly not 2 a.m. My intention was to create at 2 p.m. Right. So we have not defined it. So you can see for 30 minutes it has created from 2 to 2:30. So if I want to make it 2 a.m., let's do it. Uh, let's go to the calendar and uh, let's minimize this okay so here in the properties let's how do I write it to uh, uh, this one let's go with uh, so it will be 14 hours right 1430 so I'll say 1430 click on okay and then I'm going to may say uh, 14 so in 24 hours format I'm doing 14 now let's run it all the date time format is applicable you can also go with 2 a.m. all that you can write or let's go with 24 hours format experiment that okay that little bit so the automation has started on my system completed okay you can see uh, 2 p.m. so I have written 14 and it has created an event so this is how you can do um, automation so how do I send this invite to some someone else here in the attendee right there is something called attendee over here 
um, attendee list okay so here it is a list of attendees so that means you can put to curly braces and write all the within double quotes all the email addresses comma email address comma email address comma and then you can test it if you have your friends and a friend circle whom you like to test you can do that but this is how it is going to work so you in this video you have learned uh, the ui path google calendar automation and how that can be set okay successfully you have seen how i have created a google calendar event on my google calendar using google api so thank you guys for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel please do subscribe only when you are when you stay connected you will get to know a lot of things i am because the learning won't stop there will be new things coming in and one has to continue to learn you can't stop learning you have to continue to learn so that's why please uh, do connect by subscribing to the channel guys and we are going to meet in our next content till then take care bye bye